Hi guys, welcome back in so much channel. So guys, in this video, I tell you how you can use the Firebase database in your app. So first, what is the Firebase database? The Firebase database is a kind of storage like similar type of Firebase storage where you can save some data. Okay, but you you know that guys that the Firebase storage uh, you can store there your picture, your file, or something else. But in Firebase database, you only can save the data as like text, okay, some codes or some text type, anything. You can save on the Firebase database. And on the Firebase database, you can't save the image or the file directly, but indirectly you can save. So I am tell you how you can indirectly save the image or the file and how you can use the firebase data okay so here i already uh, contact with my app with firebase okay and i change the firebase storage url oh sorry it's not url uh, rules so let's come how i change the rules so here is my app my help and on my help application uh, I can go on my Firebase project. I make it my personal for using my blogger, my Firebase, and my copy on cardboard. Everything I it helped me very much. So let's come on the Firebase. So let's go in your project where where you are save your uh, or create your project. So here it is the project of Gmail. So recently I just changed the name because I'm not using the thing so that's why but I have data in here so come on your database and come on your you can see there after loading it will be give you the real time so you want to make sure that real time database then here you can see that a data rules backups and use okay so you want to go the rules and on the rules you can see I changed the rule that first uh, second brigade and clone rules second brigade you can see so read through and write through and second brigade and second brigade so for getting the rules okay I give the uh, I already make a video how you can change the fire vegetables rule and the storage rule so you can see the video I give the link on the description so just go there and go on the blogger page over uh, I also give the uh, link of the blogger page on the description and uh, where I give the video so just click on my video on the description link and just go on the database and copy the code and just paste it in your database rule okay then you want to just click on publish after then it toast him as that after a few minutes it will be changed so it you just give some time okay so come on the after then I just show you how it work first here you can see if I write something hello hello and if I click the button you can see that it will be add in our list view on the list view if I uh, delete the app or remove the app but when I come again on the app it will be automatically show me the data okay after few minutes but you make sure that it is online okay without uh, it is not in working offline because there is in database so the database is totally online and we are in the app we don't use any file share performance between the same as key component so we use the database component okay so let's come on project so after creating the or adding the your app with the firebase database you want to come on the plus button on the component and come on the your firebase db and here it will be first uh, ask you to enter the component name so you can uh, enter your component name so i give it fdb it means the firebase database and the location the location is not dependent because you can give what you want here you can see i in here i give the location 
data okay so when you come on the project you can see that the uh, location is the why it will be show the your name which location here you can see that if i click on plus you can see the data of that data on the location so it will be just ask the location okay so you just uh, what you write on your location name it will be just show it here and on the location you file your uh, or found your all the data you can see i write hi and hello so it will be coming here let's come on switchware so after creating the component uh, they are give you some facility uh, facilities that on child edit on child change and on child remove and on child change or cancel okay so the child edit mean that when the something add on the child it mean when we are give some data in the child add and what it should be do it will be that component okay on th then the second one is on the child change the child change mean when we are typing something or edit something or removing something or just change something from the database okay so it will be do for that thing and on the child remove that if we are remove something for our child or our database it will be we can use and get some information from here okay so here you can see uh, if you use the child key or child map value we can see which value or which uh, thing we deleted so on cancel it it means if we are doing anything from you can say on the child edit on ch or child change or child remove if then it one is crashed it but what it did do okay so here is you can see we can use the euro message okay so here you can see i already add a list view and edit text a linear a pluton one and on a, on the custom view i create a custom view that custom on the custom view i just add a linear and change the background color give it white and the add a text view and set it the text size is 18 sp after then come on the main activity on the main main activity you want to just select that custom view that your view is custom view okay where you want to make that after then now after then uh, creating uh, the data component you find uh, some facilities that you find some facilities that as like guys don't see in here on come on activity i just show you guys here we can see they are give you that add child face value push get key delete the key and child add and child change or child listen we don't i don't tell anything uh, in a uh, child change or uh, child uh, stop listening or start listening okay I just show you what we can do from that things so first one is the a uh, child add okay don't see anything now here just see the that block here that one guys okay that one just see that block so on the child add key it means that if you add something or change something you can use from it here just you want to make sure that which uh, position or which uh, position or which uh, number of you want to change that or write the list you can see uh, okay nothing okay sorry guys okay then come on the push on value that Firebase database uh, database push value it means where you push the value or get the value you can see I use it on the button one it means my sending button here I just create a new map put a key and push the value with map bar and map bar is clean so here I just give as like guys data that uh, when somebody click on the button one it will be create a map and on the map it just uh, put the key with add the value from the add text one and paste the value on the or push the value or paste the value on the map bar or firebase db component where i set the location and then i add clean the map with add a block map clean okay so the uh, push value is uh, just a simple block that you will just directly boost or get some or give some tags or value okay 
let's come on the uh, on the push get key the push get key is guys that uh, what you are give that in your location it just uh, give a you id okay you find the uid here you can see l b w o k x y z d r q d o i u x it is the uid so if you use if you use the fdv and push get key so it show you the the uid which uid you are save it after then they are also give a facilities that F fdb delete key so much user don't know how to use the delete key the delete key is a very simple you just uh, give the key which key you want to just remove so for deleting key you can use the uid or push get key which key it will be used so you just say it as like get key fdb and push the get key so you can remove from the get key but if you want to separate it by key one by one you can use a str verb get all the data from the child head and child change or child key and get in here okay then come on the on get uh, uh, children to list map so the children list map is basically you can use in the database on child edit so here you can see i use it on here fdb get child on change and list map list so on the list i show everything on my list map so here i just basically code as like that when the everything or something add in the child or fdb component it uh, take the all the data and get all the data and collect all the data and after doing all these things it just uh, get the data or show the data on the list map or custom list view okay the custom list view is my list view you know that guys that one so when i just add something on my fdb component from the edit tags so it show and get the value from the fdb component and show it on the on my list view after then i don't tell anything on the start listing or stop listing because i don't know anything about that to block okay so so that's all to you can use your database app okay so let's come on the list view here i just read it the text view one and get key with position and key with list map so that's why i use or you can use in your app too you can add data but you can't use the your photo upload in the database but in second method or the second party you can add that you just uh, push the uh you just create a component that file storage and on the storage you uploading file after then they are give you a link you just copy the link and paste it you can in your database and here just you can get the da your data the database is similar to type of the notepad you know that what is the notepad it just uh, remember our note what we write and after the main when we need something it will be just show the whole thing so that's all in this video please like share from discover channel hit the bell icon and if you have any question please go write on our comment box i every time i give the reply and if you face any problem in the scripture you can comment us we must give you the reply and give you the solve problem solution so you can solve the your problem so write us what you want to and what is your problem but make sure that you what you write please write clearly okay nothing just write something else okay just keep write to, uh, properly okay bye bye